Hello everyone and welcome to the second part of our video series. I will be sharing classical music selections which I hope will help guide a new listener on how to begin listening to classical music. If you're already a classical music lover, then I hope you find many hidden gems within our selections. So, let's get started. Our first CD for today is called The Best of Bizet. Now, if you're new to classical music, I promise you, you already know the works of George Bizet. He is one of the most well-known and well-loved composers for opera that we have. And um, on this lovely album here, we have music from Carmen, we have L'Arlesienne, Angus Dei, and uh, Symphony in C, as well as the beautiful The Pearl Fishers, Les Pêcheurs de Pearl, and uh, I will tell you that the duet from that opera, The Pearl Fishers, Au Fond de Temple Saint, is one of the most beautiful opera duet areas you will encounter. So um, this album was released on Philips. It's been reissued a couple of times. It was first um, produced in 1954, and then this compilation I have is from 1994. All right, a little bit on George Bizet. So George Bizet is a Romantic era composer. He was born in the year 1838. He passed away rather early. He was only 37 years old. And in fact, he passed away three months after Carmen was released on the, uh, on the opera stage. And he had um, a very brilliant student career, they say. He went to the Paris Conservatoire. He was admitted very early at the age of nine. And he was friends with Camille Sanson, another great composer from that era. His mentor was Guno. And unfortunately, when he came out into the work field, he found out that a lot of the opera houses wanted to feature just the older works. So this problem is a familiar problem. He had a little bit of success with his opera, L'Arlesienne, and then he struggled a bit with the others. With Carmen, apparently they thought it would be too scandalous for the audience of the day, and there were lots of delays in the production. Finally, it got released, and it got good reviews but it really became world famous after he passed away. This happens unfortunately, but we are fortunate that we have the works of Bizet and um, definitely, again, if you can get your hands on the best of Bizet released on Philips, I would recommend you do. Our second selection for today is called Cinema Classics. There was a time I will share with you that I played this CD like on a daily basis because I really love cinema. And if you love cinema and watched a lot of movies in the 80s and 90s, you are going to have a kick of nostalgia when you hear this album. Because you have movies like Philadelphia, The Piano, Shadowlands, Schindler's List, A Room with a View. You know, it's right there, you can see Helena Boehm and Carter and that's the late Julian Sands. Here we have Sir Anthony Hopkins and Emma Thompson. And you have Driving Miss Daisy, Pretty Woman. So you have some key musical moments from these movies. And um, they feature, again, top world orchestras, top performers. You have Jose Carreras, you have Mariah Callas here. If you remember that moment from Philadelphia. Okay, now our next selection is the legendary artist selection. And our legendary artist for today is Lorraine Hunt Lieberson. Okay, she was initially um, just Lorraine Hunt and that is how she's featured on this album called um, Handel Arias which feature various arias by George Friedrich Handel and um, she's accompanied by the Philharmonia Baroque Orchestra and conducted by Nicholas McKeegan. So on here you have wonderful arias from Theodora, Susanna and Mezaya as well as some other works um, by Handel. So Lorraine Hunt Lieberson was born in San Francisco, California. She was born in 1954 and she passed away early, unfortunately, at the age of 52 um, from complications from cancer. And um, she started her musical career actually as a musician. She was a viola player. And then later on, she publicly began to um, sing. She was discovered quote-unquote discovered by the opera director Peter Sellers but really she began um, singing more after she performed in a Hansel and Gretel production for a prison 
um, prison inmates in California. And um, when she started singing publicly, she would sing both as a soprano and a mezzo-soprano, but later on in her career, she performed mostly as a mezzo-soprano. Um, she met a compo composer, Peter Lieberson, and um, she was his muse and he wrote um, a lot of works for her, contemporary works. So she is well known for her Handel and other Baroque um, performances as well as her contemporary opera um, performances. And it's very hard for me to describe how magnificent Lorraine Hans Lieberson is as a singer. It's something you have to experience. But if I could try to describe it, what I would say is she's one of those um, artists who are able to take a work, distill all the emotional content from it, convey it in their voice to you, and they sing to your heart. They are singing to your heart. She is fantastic. She's fantastic. If you haven't heard Lorraine Hunt Lieberson, then I recommend you try to find this album. Our fourth selection is an album called Baroque Duet. And indeed, you have here the trumpet player Winton Marsalis and you have the soprano Kathleen Battle and they perform different um, Baroque duets that were written for the trumpet and voice. Alright, so for living artists to know, we'll start with Kathleen Battle. Kathleen Battle is a lyric coloratura. So this coloratura style of singing is a style of singing in opera where um, the soprano does a lot of trills and exciting things <laughs> with their voice. It's used a lot in Baroque style, um, classical music, as well as the bel canto Italian style. And that's the area where Kathleen Bato has um, pretty much lived as a performer. And uh, she was born in Ohio in 1948. She apparently got a lot of encouragement from her high school music teacher, um, Charles Varney who apparently switched her application uh, from maths to music for her um, college applications. She started out as a music teacher and then apparently a friend of hers had said um, the conductor Thomas Shippers, who was then the artistic director and conductor for the Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra, was um, doing open auditions and so she auditioned for him and got signed on the spot to perform uh, Brahms' Requiem at a festival that he was also a director of in, in Italy. And then after that she got um, discovered by Peter Sellers, the opera director, and um, well the rest is history. So and next up we have Winton Marsalis. Even if you don't listen to classical music, I'm pretty sure you know Winton Marsalis or his brothers <laughs> because it's a family, he comes from a family of musicians. So he's from New Orleans, Louisiana and um, he was born in 1961. He first trained as a classical musician and then he switched over to jazz. Um, he's the first person I believe or the youngest person to win a Grammy um, the same year for both jazz music and classical music by the age of 23. He has won nine Grammy Awards to date and he has won the Pulitzer Prize for music. So uh, currently Winton Marcellus is the artistic director of the Jazz at Lincoln Center Department and he has had that position since 1996 when the department was founded by him. So our fifth category is the traditional classical music from um, places outside of the Western world. And today we have an absolute, I find this a gem of an album. It's called African Lullaby. And what is so fantastic about this album is that it features African traditional instruments and only African traditional instruments. And you have um, artists from, really they are from West, East and South Africa and they are singing these songs in their native languages. So you have an authentic uh, traditional classical music experience with this album. And um, some of the musicians here are griots from Mali. The griots are musicians who transmit both your history and stories about um, that particular tribe 
from generation to generation orally. So they help to keep the history of the tribe alive. Another lovely thing about this album is the album booklet. So you have the lyrics in here and you also have some narrative and they tell you about the performer and where they come from in Africa. So this is also very good. And um, they mention a little bit about the instruments. So I highly recommend this wonderful album. Uh, it's released on Ellipsis Art. Now I've described my fifth category as being one that will not only feature traditional classical music but I'll also feature the occasional film. And so today, since we featured George Bizet, I thought it would be appropriate to feature this movie here called You Carmen. So this is very interesting. This is a movie that was made in South Africa and it's basically an adaptation of George Bizet's Carmen but rather than being performed in French, it's performed in Kosa language and it works. It's set in a township in South Africa uh, as opposed to Seville where Carmen takes place. Carmen is one of, for me, one of few operas that translates well in the modern world in the sense that you don't have to change much. You can change the setting, that's all. You don't need to change the work. It's still relevant, it's still raw, and it works. For this second part of our video series, we featured the best of Bizet, and indeed it is the best of Bizet. You have Carmen, the Pearl Fishers, Larlesienne, all the good stuff. And this was released on Philips. Wonderful. Our second selection is an album called Cinema Classics. And if you want a shot of nostalgia, definitely listen to this. Absolutely lovely recording. Here we have Lorraine Hunt Lieberson, who was our legendary artist for today. And she's on an album called Handel Arias. Definitely, definitely, if you can get your hands on this or her work that she did with um, Avi Records, then do so. Even artists to know, we had a double feature today. We had Winton Marsalis and we had Kathleen Battle on Baroque duets. So these are duets for trumpet and voice. We had African Lullaby. This fell under our traditional classical music recording. This is a little treasure. Finally, we have this movie. Um, it's an adaptation of Carmen, it's in Kosa and it's set in South Africa and it's called You Carmen, won quite a few um, awards. So we've come to the end of this second part of the video series. Please subscribe to my channel and if you like the selections that I've chosen for today, please leave a comment in the commentary section and um, I'll see you on the next video. Until then, stay well.